Right, we're back in the car. We are gonna go down to Weybourne today. We're gonna try not to harp on too much, just mumble and rant on. Um, but yeah, basically we're gonna go down Weybourne. I'm gonna give that a go today. I normally do go down there to be fair. I imagine it's gonna be quite busy because the wind's only about 20 miles per hour today. It's got a nice bit of overcast as well. And I'm hoping that maybe we might get some dogfish. The rays might be about, maybe even a smooth hound, maybe even a bass. Um, hopefully I'll catch something other than white in today. The weather has warmed up quite a bit, but I think the water temperature hasn't come up that much, so um, I'm just going with my usual baits. I've got bluey, I've got some strips of mackerel, and I've got squid, and I have some frozen black lugs still to use up. Um, I think what I'm going to do today, though, is get my two-hook flapper rig out and my pulley panel. It's what I normally fish with, I normally do all right good thing about a two hook flapper rig is you can catch anything on it and uh, it's relatively anti-tangle um, and then the, obviously the pulley rig for them rays hopefully I'm gonna try fishing without grip leads if I'm getting away with it because I don't think there's gonna be too much surf down there we've got a relatively bigger tide today compared to yesterday I think it's well I say relatively big it's quite a small tide to be honest it's only about five meters so let's get down there get fishing and hopefully catch some fish and bring you back down there so I've got a bluey tail on the top hook and um, salted black lug but like a big old bunch of them elasticated together on one hook on the bottom hook so that was showing some bangs but it looks like they might have stopped so it's probably about time to give it a check just because that's been out the longest like I said I'm using a dongle rig on this as well I'm going to give it the right rod a check, probably been a half hour I'd say. I'm going to change the rig as well. I did have a few bangs when I first put it out, but what I've got here is a one down clip, it's just clipped onto the weight. Kind of like a loop rig without the loop. <laughs> oh mate, he's down from me, he's had like a little tiny white in, but nothing to write home about. Even if I don't catch, it's great to be out down there. It's a nice, nice day for once in England. Sea's pretty calm, so you should be able to see them bites. I'm experimenting with a dongle rig on here, like I said earlier. I did speak to a chap as he was leaving, and uh, he just said he had a few little dabs, a few white in, and uh, a couple of crabs as normal. Today might be a bit different. I just had a little tap here, yeah. a little pull there. There's my dongle rig, a VI circle. I'm hoping I actually get something on it. <laughs> I'm getting crabbed a lot. So I've swapped over to a little bit of squid. Oh, he's got a doggy.
This has taken me all day to get this bite. So I'm buzzing off it. I know a lot of people don't like them. Let me see if I can get her out. So she'll play ball. She's trying to curl up on me. Nice dogfish. I ain't measured her. I ain't gonna eat her. But yeah, buzzing. It's literally taken me all day to get this. Look at her. Proper beast. So I'm gonna just get her back. Get in that water. I'm gonna carry her back to the water. One last look. She's trying to curl up on me. You gotta watch your hands. On a whole bit of squid on a henna rig. That smashed it down. That is a mast of a wreck. And I'd say it's probably about maybe 250 yards to that. I don't know, maybe, maybe like 200, I'd say, roughly. <clears throat> and that's how far I've walked down Weybourne Beach. It was a mission, I'm not gonna lie. Bloomin' shattered by the time I got here, but it might be worth it later. Rods have just started dancing now. Wind sort of coming across, so. Just waiting for them to pull down bites. So I've just cast straight out in front of me. Whole squid on the pulley rig, panel style. Has done it. Frio circle hook, and I believe it was a Frio Aberdeen as well. That'll leave your hook sitting proud like that between the eyes. And then the top hook. I literally just go an inch or so above the squid and wrap it down the line just about nick it in the top of the squid and leave that nice and proud. I mean I'll just put a little bit of elasticate elastic around that bottom hook and that'll do me. I'll show you quick. Just make sure that hook stays flat. Like I always do, concentrate near that eye try and get a few bits over it to hold it flat. So, I've started tying it off. Go through twice, pull it down. And a couple of wraps round and then snap it off. And that's me done. Oh, it's just come off the hook a bit. Okay. That's so. That shouldn't go anywhere. You can do a few up there and round that top hook, but I tend not to. Try and keep it looking natural. Just using a four ounce, I believe that is. The sea's calm. We'll have a look. And it's barely alive now. That's a keeper. It's 31. Oh, it's just alive. Hope you can see that. It's actually 31, but trying to hold it up like that is near on impossible. So yeah, that'll go for the dinner table. I'll gut it down here. Leave it in that water a minute.
put some bells on the end. So at least when I do get that nice pull down by it, they should alert me, hopefully. Still got the worm in his mouth. That is a nice dab. He just dropped the worm. I'm gonna get it back. When if the seal wants it. <laughs> Yeah, she's swimming. Hope the right way. Just make sure she don't come back. Ah, uh, she's gone. Lovely. Right, that's about all I got time for. Um, I've enjoyed it. <laughs> Caught my second ever dogfish. Decent dab. And a white in that I'm taking home. I'll probably make some fish cakes from that. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I, I was going to fish into the night. But uh, I left my head caught to the car and I'm miles away, so I ain't walking up there to then come back. So I'm probably going to give it another hour and uh, see if we get anything else. That whole squid's still out there, so you never know, I might get another doggy or something else. If anyone's got any questions, just drop it in the comments. I was just using the uh, pulley rig and uh, one hook clip down. All size threes, or three O's, sorry. Um, and that is just real simple fishing. It took ages to get that first bite. The bells definitely have helped um, detect them bites as well in that wind. And we got to see a seal as well. So buzzing about that. If you enjoyed what you see, just drop drop us a like. If you haven't already subscribed, just do that for us. It helps support my channel and get it out there. I'm sort of struggling at the minute to get videos coming out due to work, in and out of hospital um, with my mum. So I've just been busy doing all that basically, working 10 hours a day, Monday to Friday, unless I'm at the hospital. Also helped rehome uh, three cats with the help of a couple of friends. Thank you very much for that, by the way, you know who you are. So yeah, if you don't see anything after this, I didn't have any fish, I packed up and I went home. Right, take it easy guys.